who should be doing the triage. I like the business owner doing it. No matter how big your business is, I think you should have a part in that process. And I know, again, some people are not going to like this, but for our students, we're not creating, um, we're not creating fit pros that are doing seven figures, like mid seven figures. Okay. I've worked with them and it, it's, it's, a, it's, that's again, another conversation. I like building fit pros to a sustainable income that again, sustainable is a key word here. Just like we talk in fitness. I want this to be a business that runs very well and it doesn't require all your stress, time and energy. Okay. So that number might be 10 K a month. That number might be 80 K a month or 90 K, but we're not pushing into like two, 300,000 a month because most fit pros, they think they want that. And then they want to, they, their heads explode when they get there. Okay. It's a, you know, it's a different ball game. Yeah, but I don't know, it's a swan because it's uh, the yeah. expression of like uh, different levels of different levels. It's like people don't understand the problems that come with scale. They don't, they do not. And most people just want to earn an honest living, be able to go shopping down in, you know, Scottsdale down at Fashion Square, get a few things that they like and go back to living a good life. That's a good life to me, right? But we, we're, we're, we're conditioned to think that we need to do seven figures and to do all this, but they don't know how much stress comes with that. So I really promote people doing again, and that like 10 to uh, upwards at the high end of hundred K a month, right? So again, just to swing it back to the question before I get off into the weeds on that, I think the business owner should have a part in the front end of the sales process because you don't know if your closer sucks or if you have unqualified leads. The only way to know that for sure is if you triage, you know that you have good leads that you're pushing through and that they're qualified. So if your closer is not closing them, then your closer sucks. Or if the leads that are coming in, you're like, dude, I wouldn't put this on a call with myself. Then you know that maybe your marketing needs some changes. The only way to know that though, as a business owner is if you're part of that process, if you remove yourself from that process, we've tried it. It doesn't go well. It does not go well, not at this size of business. You have to play some part in that. And it doesn't mean you're triaging for 20 hours a day. It might just mean that you, you time block an hour or two a day and you take four 15 minute calls in each of those hours. That's plenty. Right. That's cool. And in the triage schools, how do you run those more just, um, like a process of trying to warm people up and identify their any points and challenges and like open it up a bit so they mm -hmm. sit on that before they go to the next school. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So again, you, you don't have a sale. If you don't have a pain point, you don't have urgency and a desire to change. Like those are like your, you have to have those three things, right? Otherwise, you know, the Jordan Belforts and like all the guys who think that they can close anybody and everybody that walks through the door, it, it, it's not, it's not the case. You might close them, but again, we don't factor in cancellations and chargebacks. Okay. So they have to have a pain point. Mm -hmm.